Welcome to this lesson on slope. The first thing that I want to go over are the four different types of slope. So the first type of slope is a positive slope. And if you're looking at the graph of a line, a line with a positive slope is going to rise from left to right. And if you're looking at the equation of that line, your m, if the line is in the form y equals mx plus b, or slope intercept form, your m is your slope, and it's going to be a positive number, like positive 3. This would be a positive 1, positive 1 half, and positive 5 fourths. If you have a negative slope, your line on a graph will fall from left to right. So again, if your line is in the form y equals mx plus b, your m is going to be a negative number, like negative 5, negative 1, negative 3 over 2, and negative 1 over 4. The next type of slope is a zero slope. And a line with a zero slope is going to be completely horizontal. And any time you have a zero slope, the equation for that line is going to be y equals a number. So y equals 4, y equals negative 10, y equals 1, y equals 2 thirds. So it could be positive, negative, a fraction. It doesn't matter as long as it's y equals a number. And then the last type of slope is an undefined slope. And on a graph, that would be a vertical line. And the equation of a vertical line with an undefined slope is going to be x equals a number. So x equals negative 8, x equals 3, x equals 5 over 4, and x equals negative 1. All right, so let's look at these examples. All right, so go ahead and pause the video now and try out 1 through 6 by yourselves and see if you can determine the type of slope and then unpause the video and we'll go over it. Okay, so number one, because it's y equals seven, that's going to be a zero slope. Number two is rising from left to right, so that is a positive slope. Number three, this is the equation of a line in standard form, if you remember from your algebra class. So in order to determine the slope, we need to convert this to slope-intercept form. So the first thing that we're going to do is move the 2x to the other side, so subtract it from both sides. And basically, it's just going to become negative 2x when we move it across the equal sign. And then I'm going to bring my positive 12 down. Next, I need to divide everything by 3 so that I can get y by itself. So my answer is y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 4, which means I have a negative slope. Number 4, the slope is right here, negative 1 half, so that is negative. Number five is x equals negative four, so that's going to be undefined. And then the last one we need to do like we did with number three, convert it to slope-intercept form. So I'm going to move the x to the opposite side, and it's going to change signs when I move it across the equal sign. And then I'm going to divide everything by two. So y equals, right here there's an understood one coefficient of 1, so negative 1 half x, and then 10 divided by 2, that's positive 5, so my slope is negative. Alright, go ahead and pause the video now, and you can complete the type of slope practice and check it with your teacher. Okay, once you have completed that and checked your answers with your teacher, let's go ahead and move on to how to find slope. So again, this is just review from your algebra class. You should have learned this before in Algebra 1. So when you have a graph, remember you had the four types of slope that we just went over. You can determine, first of all, if it's positive, negative, zero, or undefined just by looking at the picture. So in this example, I know that because this is falling from left to right, 
it's going to be a negative slope. So I already know it's negative. But to get the actual number for the slope, we're going to count the rise over the run. Because if you remember from algebra, slope is the change in y over the change in x, or the vertical distance over the horizontal distance. So I need to count the rise from these two points, the vertical distance, and that would be 4. And then the run, the horizontal distance, and that would be 1. And then always make sure you reduce your fractions. So negative 4 would be my slope. Okay, when you are given two points, you can use the slope formula. So a line containing these two points, I can use the slope formula. And the slope formula basically just says you subtract the y values and then divide it by subtracting the x values. All right, so y sub 2, that just means if you want to label these, x1, y1, x2, y2. So negative 7 minus 4 and then x sub 2 minus x sub 1, so 0 minus 2. And then we're going to simplify that, so negative 11 over negative 2. And for slope, it's usually easier if you leave it as a fraction, because when you graph it, it's easier to have a fraction to count your rise over run. But we do need to change this to positive 11 over 2, because a negative divided by a negative is positive. Okay. When you have an equation in standard form, you want to make sure that you change it to slope-intercept form so you can find the slope. And remember, that's y equals mx plus b. Okay, so I'm going to bring down my 3y. I'm going to move 2x across the equal sign, so it's going to change signs. And then I'm going to bring my positive 10 down. And then I need to divide everything by 3. So y equals negative 2 thirds x plus, you can leave that 10 thirds or you can change it to a decimal, it doesn't really matter. And then your slope is going to be negative 2 thirds, that's what we're looking for. Alright, and then if your equation is in slope intercept form, all you need to do is find your m. Remember y equals mx plus b. So my slope here is 3. Okay, you can go ahead and complete finding slope practice now and stop the video and check it with your teacher.